Hey guys, just wanted to show you a really nice standing modification for those of us that had too much difficulty getting down to the floor to perform that kneeling bench extension exercise to again focus on improving some of that mid back or thoracic spine extension. So if you had difficulty getting down to the floor for poor spine or hip mobility, if you have uh, knees that are uncomfortable due to arthritis or a previous knee surgery, Fear not, I'll show you a great way to do that exercise standing. So again, think about why that's so important to get into an upright or extended position is because so many of our daily activities are forward. So we overdevelop the muscles that kind of round us forward and then we fuel that fire by texting or watching things on our phone, typing behind a computer, et cetera, et cetera. So again, if you kind of overdevelop those muscles in front, they're always going to kind of pull us forward. So we want to get into a normal upright and extended position, especially if you're someone that wants to rotate for life or sport activities. So we want to extend before we actually get into rotation. So what I'm going to use is my weight stack here in front of me. You could use anything that's at least waist height or higher. So think kitchen countertop, a bedroom dresser, something at of that height or higher. Now, the very easy exercise to perform, all you have to do is set up with your palms face down on that structure, step your feet back about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna breathe in through my nose, and as I breathe out through my mouth, I'm gonna drop my hips way back and unlock the knees, and I'm gonna push my head down through the arms. I'm gonna pause for about one or two count there, come right back up to the top, Reset with a deep inhale through the nose and breathe out for at least four seconds as I repeat that exercise. Now, what you should notice or feel over time is that you're able to get that head through the arms a little bit more. Now, what you're okay doing is basically trying to dump the belly towards the floor to accentuate more of that extension. Now, don't worry about rounding that low back. It should not cause any discomfort because you're not actually under a load. Okay, you're not holding a weight of any kind to load the spine. So it should be a very comfortable exercise to get into. And again, if you do feel that stretch underneath the arms, it's because your lats are so tight that you can't even focus on thoracic extension yet. So keep working on the exercise. As you produce more flexibility in the soft tissue, then you can continue to start working on some of that mid-back extension. So uh, you wanna do this exercise at least five to 10 times. You can do 12 or even up to 15 of them, depending on how tight you are. Keep working on that exercise, primarily in the beginning of a warm-up. So hope that helps. Get ready for your rotation. Hey guys, I just wanted to share a really nice mobility drill that's going to help you loosen up this area here, which is your mid-back, also called your thoracic spine. So this is an area that is commonly tight and or stiff, especially in those sedentary folk that work behind a desk or a chair. So nice thing is minimal pieces of equipment needed. All you need is a nice clean wall. And I think what helps people the most uh, in terms of locking down their low back is using a foam roller, a book, or even a yoga block. Just something about three or four inches in thickness, and I'll show you how or why we're gonna use this in just a second. So my inside leg is my left leg. I'm gonna step that back to the very end of my mat there. And then my outside leg, which is my right leg, that is the one that's going to be uh, basically mushing this foam roller up against the wall. Now, my inside arm, which is my left arm, is gonna be open just like so against the wall. My right hand is gonna meet it right there. Take a deep breath in. And then as I exhale and breathe out, I'm gonna keep my eyes on my thumb and turn it all the way out, as far out as I can. Now, the foam roller is meant to keep contact with the knee and the wall the entire time. If I did not have the foam roller there, as I begin to rotate all the way out or as far out as I can, a lot of the times that knee would also open up and that rotation then does not come from the mid back or thoracic spine, it actually comes from the low back there instead. So make sure you are using something to pin the knee up against the wall 
and work on those open books for about 8 to 12 repetitions per side and you'll actually be able to see which side is more or less restricted and then the second time you go through to do that exercise you could do a few bit a few more repetitions on the tighter side versus the uh, side where you're finding an easier way to open up. So give that drill a shot and let me know how it goes.